Morning, guys. Welcome to Tuesday Mana. Man, I can't believe summer is almost over. It's crazy how fast time flies. Um, what I want to talk about today, we kind of started back a month ago when we did VBS. We really, like, it was cool. We talked about, in VBS, we talked about the armor of God, and God just really hit me with that. We, we finished up chapter one in James, and we're going to get back to that. But I got kind of through a curveball, and I, I just want to see where it goes because it's really cool. If you remember, in VBS week, I got to focus on verses 10 and 11 of Ephesians 6. And we talked about how we are to be strong in the Lord and not in our might, right? We're to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, right? So that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. And if you remember, we looked back at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Old Testament, and we looked at how they stood on truth and how they stood on the power of God and how they said, you know, even if our God doesn't save us from the flames, we still we won't bow. So they knew what was right, they did what was right, and they stood in the power of God, and they overcame the evil one. So today what I want to do is I want to look through, we're going to look through probably another couple verses. I want to read through the whole armor with you. We'll look at a couple verses, and then we'll continue on. But before we jump into that, let's pray, and let's invite God to join us in. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, and God, I thank you so much for your word. I thank you so much for these times each morning that we can come together, God, and we can study your word, God, and you can speak to us. I pray that you'd speak to us now through your word. I thank you for truth. I thank you for who you are, and I thank you for your son. And we pray these things in your name. Everyone said, amen. All right. Let's go ahead, and if we are in Ephesians 6, and we're going to start off in chapter 10. Chapter 10. We're going to start off in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. All right, verse 10, here we go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the pre preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints." And for me, that the utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador, an ambassador in change, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Oh man, there's some powerful verses I'm excited to get in with you guys with. But today I want to focus on, so I want to look at 12 and 13. Okay, so we're going to look at 12. And this is a powerful verse that we hear a lot. I don't know if you, I have any Frank Preddy fans out there, but This Present Darkness was one of my favorite books as a kid. And this verse was heavy in that, right? For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Right? First thing, we don't fight. Our fight, our battle is not against humans. It's not against each other, right? Our fight is against the spirits and the forces of darkness be, that's in that human, right? Our goal is to save those humans, is to bring, excuse me, is to bring those humans to Christ who can save them, right? Our battle isn't against them, but it's against that spiritual force that rules the darkness of this present age. And I don't know. The sage that we're living in is an interesting one. Truth is anything but truth these days. People will believe anything but the truth. And that's why it's so important that we are in our word. 
so that we are battling, we are using the word of God, the sword of the spirit to fight against what they are bringing up, to fight against that false truth, right? To fight against those powers. And again, like it said in verse 10, that's not in our own strength because in our own strength, we're gonna, we would not make it. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if they were in their own strength, that fire would have consumed them as it did the guards. But because they were in Christ's strength, because they were in God's strength, they were saved. So we don't fight this, and we'll see this as we get into the armor of God, as we see what our weapons are. We don't fight this in our own terms, right? We don't use our own power because we don't have that power except when we're connected with Christ. So the only way that we can fight, we can wrestle against these principalities, against these powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, is when we take up the whole armor of God, is when we go in God's strength with God's direction using God's word as the truth. The truth will set us free, right? The truth is where it's at. And This is the truth, the Bible, right? God has given us the truth, and our job is to spread that to others. Okay, so then into 13, it also says, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girding your waist with truth. Right, so... Again, he tells us we're, we don't fight this battle with us. We fight this battle in God with his tools, and we protect ourselves with his armor. In his strength, we go out against the battle. Take up the whole armor of me. Take up the whole armor of Jeremy. No, take up the whole armor of God, right? Because my armor is nothing compared to the power that is, that is against me. But when I take up that armor of God, The power that is against me is nothing compared to that armor of God. I love it. I think I want to get into 14. So, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breast, oh, sorry, having putting on, put on the breastplate of righteousness. The first thing that he says that we need to put on is the belt of truth. And it's so interesting to me. This, the belt is such an important piece of the armor. This is um, a prison epistle. The the Ephesians is written when Paul was in prison in Rome, so he's probably looking at a Roman guard, looking at their armor, right? And he sees the belt. The belt's important. It actually holds the breastplate in place, as well as it holds your sword, right? So the truth on which we stand, the belt of truth, holds our sword and the sword as we read later is the sword of the spirit the word of god the truth because the belt holds the truth right the word of god is truth it holds our weapons and like i said it's so important that we understand and know how to rightly divide this word of truth because in this day and age in this present darkness that we're living in Everything is truth. The the enemy is coming after the family. The enemy is coming after our kids. The enemy is coming after everything that we have, right? And we have to stand knowing that it's not against flesh and blood, but it's against the darkness. We have to stand in the truth. We have to buckle up that belt of truth, which holds that blessed breastplate of righteousness in place and holds the sword of the Spirit on our side. It's so important that as Christians we stand up for what is right, that we stand for the truth, that we stand against the things that are going against us because we are that line of defense, okay? And again, I say all these things like it's us, but it's not because we go back to verse 10 and we do not stand in our own strength. We stand in God's strength. And with his strength, there's no way that the wiles of the devil can succeed. But that means that you have to have your heart right where God needs you. So here's my challenge for you today, and we'll pick this up again later. We'll get the rest of the armor. But my challenge is check your heart. Check your heart with the Word of God. Are you standing 
where you need to be standing? Are you standing up for those that you need to stand up for in God's power? Are you where God has you? Is your heart aligned with his heart so that you are walking with God? Because that's where our power lies. When we're walking the way that God wants us, when we're walking side by side with him, when we're doing what he has called us, that's where our power lies. Because then God works through us. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were walking with God. They knew his law. They knew what they should do. And because of that, God's power showed up. Is that where you are? Have a great week, Christian. Thank you.